Yo, what is going on, you guys? The Gaming Wookie here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys a new LG Retro Custom Duplication Glitch. This glitch is really awesome, and it lets you make millions of dollars really quick. And it lets you do about one to four LG Retros at a time, which is awesome. Um, yeah, it's pretty hard to do four though, so usually I can only just get one. But anyways, for this glitch, you will just need a friend, an LG Retro Custom, and an office garage with a mod shop. And yeah, let's get straight into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how you need to have your cars arranged. So you need to have a stock LG RH8 in slot 6. So just a regular plain LG in slot 6 or it can be any car but I just prefer to use LGs because they're free and for slot 7 you need to have just another stock LLG RH8 and then in slot 8 right next to it you need to have an LG Retro Custom so now you're gonna go in first person go above your blue circle and you're gonna run and press the uh, right d-pad so you run up against your car and then you're standing right on top of it so after you are standing up against your car, you are just going to select your car in slot 6 and then select your car in slot 7 so you get the option asking if you want to move it. You're just going to stay on that screen and ask your friend to start any job or any Rockstar created mission. Then you're just going to join him through your party or he can invite you, doesn't matter. And then once you join him through the party and you get the are you sure you want to join the GTA Online session screen. You're going to press yes, but after you press yes, you're going to press A again, down on the right D, blah, down on the D-pad, and then A twice. So, accept the alert, A, down, A, A. And then you will dupe a car. Alright, so I'm about to do this. You don't have a lot of time at all. You have, like, barely any time. This is why it's so hard to dupe more than one. Alright, so A, down, A, A. And if you hear the clicking sounds in the background, you have done it successfully. So after you join the job, you will load into the job lobby. And once you are fully loaded in, your friend can go ahead and quit. And then after your friend quits, you can just quit right after him. So once you load down into free mode, you are going to open up your phone and go to Benny's or Legendary Motorsport, whichever one, and order a free LG off one of the two sites. And while you are ordering, make sure that your friend stays in your office garage the whole entire time or you will screw up the glitch and it would really suck. So you're going to order the LG and if you have the same setup as me in the beginning of the video, you're just going to put it in slot 8 and you need to have a full garage, I forgot to mention that before the video but you're gonna put it in slot 8 and if slot 8 says an LG RH8 then that is that is correct you want it to say R, um, LG RH8 and you're going to replace that LG RH8 with the new one from Legendary Motorsport or Benny's and once you replace it you are just going to have your friend wait in your garage and you're just gonna wait outside for it to deliver and you get the notification on your phone So once you get the notification that the LG has been delivered to your garage, you are just going to want to go inside of your garage and make sure your friend stays in there too. And once you go inside your garage, you're going to go to your second floor and go to slot 8. And if done correctly, you will see that you have a new LG Retro Custom, but you are not done yet. Um, if you try and swap sessions or anything, one of the LG Retro Customs will just turn back to a normal LG. But the way to fix that is you just have to put any custom plate on the LG Retro Custom and it will stick and you will be able to keep it forever and it won't change back to an LG. So just go down to your mod shop and put on any one of your custom plates and you're going to do this on both of your LG Retro Customs. I am going to 
gonna dupe another LG. I'm just gonna reset the LGs like how I had them before. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna get the alert asking if I want to switch the LG. And my friend is just going to start up a Rockstar created mission. And I'm just gonna wait for him to load into that mission. So once he has the mission ready, I'm just going to join him through the party. And I'm gonna get the alert asking if I want to join his GTA Online session. And I'm going to hit the same button pattern as I did last time. So I'm going to hit yes to accept the alert message. Then I'm gonna hit press A again, and I'm gonna press it down on the right, down on the D-pad, and then I'm gonna press A twice after that. So A to accept, A down, A A. And then you should hear clicking in the background. And then once you are just fully loaded into the job, you can just, your friend will quit first and then you can quit after him. So when we load back into free mode, we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. We are going to go to Legendary Motorsports or Benny's.com, whatever one you want, and we are going to order an elegy, just a free stock elegy, and place it in slot eight, which is where our new retro will appear. Make sure your friend stays in the garage the whole time that you don't go in it either. So you're just gonna order it, and then you're just going to wait for you to get the notification on your phone saying that it has been delivered. So once it says it has been delivered, you can just go into your office garage and you were going to do the same thing you did last time. Um, you were just going to go and change one of your uh, the plates on both of the allergies to custom plates and make sure they were custom plates before you dupe them so you're going to have two custom plates. So you're just going to be able to change it back and forth between those two custom plates the whole time. So you're just going to get in um, your elegy and take it to your mod shop and then change your custom plate to your other custom plate. Got this mouthful. And then you're going to do the same thing again with your other elegy. So yeah, that was a duplication glitch, and for this next glitch, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can give your friend any personal vehicle, and vice versa, and how you can get one from them. And so from this position, I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be the person receiving the vehicle from my friend. And so what you're going to need is a friend, his vehicle, and the mobile command center. And before you start the glitch, it would be a good idea just to shoot some rockets at the mobile command center, because your friend is going to have to blow it up later. So I usually just shoot some rockets at it so I won't have to use as much sticky bombs later. So then you're going to hop in any stock elegy and make sure it belongs to you and drive it inside of your mobile command center. Make sure your friend is not in the elegy with you. You're going to have to invite him into the mobile command center. Otherwise the glitch will not work properly and you will not get glitched out like you're supposed to. So just drive on in into your mobile command center. And once you are in, you are going to just invite your friend through your interaction menu. Once he spawns inside of your mobile command center, you are just going to have him get inside of your elegy with you, and he is going to open up his pause menu, go to his friends tab, and he's going to join someone who's in a different targeting mode. Well, he's not going to join their game, but he's going to accept the first alert message that says, are you sure you want to join this GTA Online session? He's going to accept that alert message, and then he'll have another one that says, there's at them that the player is in a different targeting mode he's gonna stay on the second alert message not he's not gonna press a or b and once he is on that second alert message you can just drive out of your mobile command center
after you've driven out you will just drive back over to your mobile command center and you're gonna press the button to enter but instead of entering you're gonna be frozen in place you're not gonna be able to do anything you're not gonna be able to move your camera change your radio station even plot your phone one thing you'll be able to do is pause so once you are frozen like this you're gonna get your friend to press B and once he presses B he's going to throw sticky bombs at your trailer until it explodes So once he has exploded the trailer, he will just kill himself through the interaction menu. And I forgot to mention, if you are backed out by the explosion so that you get unfroze, you're just going to have to repeat all those steps again and get frozen again. Don't worry, it's not that hard, so it shouldn't take you very long. So after he kills himself, he's going to open up his pause menu and start up a Rockstar created job. And once he starts up that Rockstar created job, there's two options. He can either invite you or you can just join him through the party or join him through your friends list because if you join him through the party you're just going to leave the job if you join him through your friends list on GTA you'll just get kicked back down unless you're not in the invite only session I just joined him through the alert message saying your party started the job but it doesn't matter how you join him or if you even join him at all just as long as you accept one of those alert messages and then quit the job right after you should be fine so you're just going to wait until you fully load into the job. And he's going to tell you when there's no orange logo thing by your name saying you're still loading. So then you're just going to quit. And once you quit, he'll quit too. And when you load back into free mode, he is going to call in his personal vehicle or whatever vehicle you're trying to um, take from him. He will keep the vehicle though, so it's not really taking, it's more like duplicating. But anyways, you're going to just go over to the vehicle, make sure you have access to it. It can also, it doesn't have to be a personal vehicle, you can use some Pegasus vehicles, like I know you can use the MTL Dune, and I think you can use the Brickade, I'm not sure on that one though. So you're just going to get into his personal vehicle, and request your mobile operation center, and when you drive near the mobile operation center, it doesn't, it's, even if you're kind of far away, you're going to get just sucked in, and if you're, even if you're, like, don't even drive inside of it, you still get sucked in from a few blocks away. So once you get sucked in, you are just going to um, drive out of the thing, out of your mobile command center, and it will say that the vehicle is yours, but you might get an error that says that you cannot store the vehicle inside of the mobile command center after you drive it back out. That's the error that happened to me. I'll show you right now. You're about to see it. So as you can see this says this vehicle cannot be stored in your vehicle storage but there is a fix to that you're just going to want to take it out or just park it anywhere you want and you're just going to blow it up and make sure that the host or whoever owned the vehicle leaves the game too and you're just going to blow it up call Moore's mutual insurance and when you call Moore's the vehicle will spawn back inside of your MOC so you're just going to take it out of the back and then it will be fixed so you will be able to take it to your garage or take it to Los Santos Customs, whatever you want to do with it. So now it should, all the things should be fully unlocked for it. You're about to see that I can now drive it inside my mobile command center. It gives me the option to. And now I'm just going to drive it back to my CEO office crash. You can drive it to wherever you want, park it wherever you want. It does not matter. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. And before I go, I have one more thing to say. I am going to be hosting a Great White Shark card giveaway when I hit 100 subscribers. I know we are, it seems kind of far away, but I know we can hit it sometime soon. And it's going to be a real legit giveaway. It's not going to be like one of those fake giveaways where you just subscribe and like and stuff and nothing ever happens. But anyways, see you guys in the next video. Peace.